Let's see exactly how seriously I can take this. <laughs> because when the first thing you see is happy cola and pretzels, <laughs> the answer is not very. But anyway, let's think a little bit more commercially, shall we? If I put in a big path here, we could have some sort of food area straight away. Um, and information point and perhaps cash machine or something to stop people getting out back out of the park for, for poor reasons like having no money. Um, what this is missing at the moment unless I've missed it is sort of things like big waterfalls and that sort of thing so hmm, what I will do is I'll go to blueprints and I'll find the garden plaza and we'll start with that because it looks lovely if I just fill in oh no I think I've just accidentally cut one of my trees down oh, that was stupid fill in oh, I'm gonna chop the other one down as well there we go make the paths big in case we suddenly get squillions of visitors ha ha and then what I can do is put food all around it so on this side I'll put Chinese food and bubble tea Blup. and I will put my staff room near the front here you. and we'll hire a janitor and a hauler and a mechanic for later and some security and an entertainer while there's absolutely nothing to do so on, then on this side you can buy hot dogs and ice cream and soft drinks. There we go, lovely. Then I put the info kiosk there and I'll put a cash machine there. Brilliant. I'm uh, going to employ another hauler because you can't believe how many you need. I don't know what colour to do all this. I should make it purple. Purple and white. There we go. And you can see down here all the stock that's waiting to be taken. I love the fact you can zoom in that far. All the stock that's waiting to be taken. So we've got condiments there and burger buns, drinks, meat. I like that. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's really nice. I really like being able to zoom right in and I can see exactly what everybody's up to. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pop a souvenir shop at the exit, I think. For those, you know, last minute purchases. In fact, let's just, let's just put all the souvenir shops there so we can get them coming in and going out. And I'll put a toilet in next to the staff room. There we go. So what we need now is a nice ride. I would quite like to try to play this being vaguely profitable. I don't know whether that's actually even possible or not. The interesting thing is, is that charging a dollar for people to get in? Because I don't remember it charging anything last time I played this. Oh well. Perhaps it's a cover charge for the toilets. Right. Put a carousel in here. Get it tested. There we go. And oh, hang on. There we go. These path lines are very, very garish <laughs> if you have them red, so I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna be a standard Jenny path line this one. Oh, blimey, that's a bit bright and all, isn't it? There we go. 
Yikes, that is a bit bright. Oh, Ooh, it almost glows in the dark. I, uh, I'm not a fan of that at all. I'm just going to try again with that. There we go. You can't tell at the moment because it's a big storm anyway. And I'm going to put the price of that up to $1.50. And I'm going to put a TV or two in the queue line so we don't get bored. There we go. Oh, hang on. There we go. Have we tested it? No, not yet. <laughs> oh dear, my haulage people aren't being very quick about this, are they? Need to get on with it. They've stocked all these shops up though, so that's good. So, umbrellas will put up to $3. And souvenirs, I'm going to put the sunglasses up to $2. And balloons, I'm going to make all $2. There we go. <laughs> Food-wise, it's difficult to know, really. $2 for Chinese food seems incredibly reasonable to me. By which I mean insanely cheap. <laughs> put the soft drinks up to $2. There we go. <laughs> Oh, there's people on my carousel. Oh no, sorry, that's just the that's just the janitor. Have we tested it? Yes, we have. Let's get it open. Now, I want a sort of vaguely intense ride, don't I? Drop tower is always good for that. Would you want to watch a drop tower while you were eating your Chinese food? Possibly you wouldn't. I quite like the idea of the drop tower going over the plaza thing. So, there we go. Get that tested. And, uh, oh, hang on a second. Get that tested? It's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Have I just, uh... oh dear. I need to edit that because that's the worst drop tower in the world, the whole world, isn't it? Um, oh dear. <laughs> I've messed that up. Let's try that again. There we go, you get your money back. Up, 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 up. Why isn't it going up? I need it to go up. Oh, because you've got to drag it. Right, how <laughs> how high can I get that? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's, that's... That's quite big. I don't know what 16 means. That would be super intense. Oh, let's test that. see just how intense that is because that's crazy it's high it's high intensity i don't know how in the scan scheme of things i don't know what the sort of scale of that is it doesn't look like it goes up that high how have i put it up to there <laughs> Have I broken it? There we go. Not sure. Is that what it's supposed to be? Excitement and intensity. Whoop! <laughs> Dear. That was the serious drop. <laughs> that looks better to me. Right, that's one ride because you get. Oh, look at that now! Excitement and intensity now is really high. Okay, I'm going to risk that. You only get to go up twice, though. Possibly, you only get to go up once. If everybody wants to get on it, so path-wise, we'll put a path there, and I have a plan for that path involving getting people's money out of them. And then 
No, we're back to red and white again here. It's just a little bit bright. Okay, so if we put it round the side of the tower like this. What I'm thinking is there's effectively a there's going to be a sort of a re-ride queue. So they get off and get back on again. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, I might be wrong. Somebody's very annoyed that it's not open. There we go. I think I can get away with $5 for that, you know. I think they'll pay $5 for that. It's super, super intense. You can see my stalls are starting to open up. Some we've sold a soft drink. And it's really worth the money. A oh, couple of Chinese food customers as well. There we go. Somebody's getting on it. It's David Waters. Yeah, I am charging a dollar to get in, which seems a little odd. I don't think I want to do that. If anything, I want to pay them to come to, <laughs> to, come to the place. There we go. Wow. That's quite a scary thought. Have to see what he thinks of it when he gets back off again. Hey. Listen to him scream. Are you happy? I wouldn't be if I had to go on that, but you might well because you're you're a fool. <laughs> oh, look at the happiness levels. That drop tower is going to make everybody really, really, really happy, which is awesome. So, what I'm going to do then is have it so you can go straight back on. But also, I'm going to grab you with the souvenir shops on the way out. <laughs> Souvenirs, umbrellas, and balloons. There we go. Now, the thing about this is, you have to set all the prices again. I don't know whether I've missed something and you can actually set the prices across the park. That's slightly annoying. But I've probably missed something, because I do. There we go. Oh, so happy! Launch drop tower was awesome! Look at the happiness levels! Well, that should be dragging them in then, shouldn't it? Meanwhile, on the slowest carousel in the world. That is very slow. Oh, everybody's going to want to get on that, aren't they? Fantastic. So, now, what we could do with is perhaps a roller coaster? Maybe around here? There's a few little uh, blueprints. Perhaps I could put the wild mouse in? I don't know whether that would be good enough for them. Because it's quite cheap. We could put a bobsled coaster in. Oh, they're really expensive, though. As awesome as that is. Hmm. I could build my own. God help you. Oh, the screaming. Uh, let's put a roller coaster in early on. Um, steel coaster. These aren't really free. They're not really free. I, uh, I tried that. It's whether they're intense enough, because people really want intense rides for some reason. Oh, How about a falcon? Ooh! <laughs> Whoa! How about not a falcon? Yikes. I can't be dealing with that right now. Wing coaster? Ooh, they're expensive. Oh dear, I also seem to be stuck with my... Um, hello? I don't want that anymore. I don't want it. I don't want it. There we go. <laughs> How about a wooden coaster? They're quite intense, aren't they? That's a big one. What about this one? Would that fit there? No, not quite. That's a pity. Hmm. I don't know what to do. 
How about enter Enterprise? Enterprises are quite intense, aren't they? Gravitron? I don't know what Gravitron is. Or a star shape. Or top spin. I know what top spin is, actually. I never go on those. I don't like them. How about a wipeout? I'll put a wipeout in. Just here, because it's little. You can see it when you come into the park. There we go. And what I shall do... Is I'll get my path. Wipeout's quite a... Quite an unpleasantly gaudy ride, isn't it? So I will uh, keep the gaudy queue line. And what I'll do, again, is do a sort of re-ride thing. Whoop, hang on. No, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. Look at that go. Whoa. Oh, look, it's not exciting or intense. It's just nauseating. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Put the price up to $2. That does look horrendous. <laughs> Everybody's going to need to sit down after that. While it's faffing about, I should put some more benches in for people. There we go. Somebody's lost their balloon already. Oh no, you'll just have to buy another one. There we go. Place to sit down and eat your stuff. Mmm, stuff. And we'll put some bins in so that you're not dropping things everywhere because I know what you're like, little monsters. There we are. Okay, that's now uh, medium in excitement as well, so that's good. Off we go. So we have a very intense, exciting ride. We have a vaguely exciting and slightly nauseating ride. And we have that. <laughs> Which is rubbish, generally. How? What do we feel about launch drop tower? We're very, very happy about it. Do you think I could get away with charging them a bit more? Because it is a super awesome ride. Oh, well, I'm still getting on it. Are we all happy? Are we going to get back on it and spend another six dollars, please? Please? They're very happy, aren't they? No, well, people are still getting on it, so I'm going to assume that that's an okay price. Carousel was awesome, apparently. Wipeout's just got its first customer. I'm so sorry. Jennifer Davis, good name. <laughs> Not paying that much for carousel and not paying that much for hot dogs. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, stingy. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> Excellent. Right, well, I don't think there's much hope of me making an awful lot of profit out of any of this. <laughs> but never mind. Let's put some more shops in. Cotton candy. And snow cones. There we go. So when you get off the carousel, all you want to do is stuff yourself with sugar. Because it wasn't exciting enough. Nobody seems to be complaining about the price, do they? I wonder whether I could just hutch the price up a little bit. Two dollars rather than one dollar. Nope. What's your problem? You're not paying that much? Uh -huh. How about one dollar eighty then? Just to be really stupid about it. It's just finding that price point, isn't it, where they'll get on. Like, John Wright just got on. Good. I've just realised, actually, cotton candy, a dollar. It's not very much, is it? I reckon we could shove that up to $1.5, actually. And for a snow cone. Snow cones were $4 or something? Where we went to... Where have we bought a snow cone? Bush Gardens, was it? 
Yeah, it must have been Bush Gardens because uh, they wouldn't let us take our snow cones on the train. Right. What's got going on here? There's not much try trash, which is good. It is nice. What I was trying to say was that there's not much trash and it's really nice, but I ended up saying there's not much trice. Because <laughs> this is like an episode of Look Around You. So experience is not so good. Everything else seems to be alright though at the moment. Whee! Three balloon customers. No umbrella customers. One souvenir customer. Oh, this is popular, isn't it? Oh, woo indeed. They love it. Getting straight back on. Getting straight back on. That was the plan. Excellent. It's working. Great. Okay. So I need more rides like that. Like intense, exciting rides. Of which I'm guessing the double Ferris wheel might not be one. I don't know, though. I've never been in one. Might be epic. Twister? I like twisters. I'm gonna have to have some sort of coaster, aren't I? How about I have a little one? A little wild mouse coaster. How about here? Oh, that looks quite nice there, actually. There we go. The colours aren't great. so happy. did say I was going to make this into a sort of purple park, didn't I? I forgot all about that. Right. Testing. I'll say three dollars for that for the time being. Not a fan of blue carriages. There we go. And then... We'll de-uglify these paths. And put in the queue line up here. And then all the way along here, so that when you come out of here, what you want to do is get straight back on again. And if you don't want to get straight back on again, what you want to do is buy a souvenir. There we go. Again, I have to remember that I put the price of my sunglasses up. I'm sure there must be a way of setting this across the park that I've not found yet. And I will also put some TVs in the line. Because I've been a little bit slack about that. There we go. I mean, this ride is so exciting, I don't know why you'd want a TV in the line, but you're getting one anyway. There we go. Toilet usage, incidentally. Uh, there's a few. I'm going to have to put toilets around here somewhere as well. Because I'll start complaining if I don't. I'll just put one on the corner there. There we go. So, we've got medium, low, medium again. Mm, it's not great, is it? Oh well, it's something else for them to go on. Just stocked the souvenirs there. See, the pair of feet. I'm assuming that's the staff member showing up, is it? Selling stuff. Oh, I like you, Walter Holt. Selling stuff. That's the way to do it. I like you because you're buying stuff. Are you going to get on my ride? No? What's the problem? There is no problem. Well, you're going to get on my ride, aren't you? Good. Quite a few people on this. Nobody complaining about the price. Gonna shove the price up a bit, see if I can get away with it. People are still getting on. I reckon I could go to three dollars on that, you know. I could probably like treble the prices on all of this, and I just don't realise. Oh, they love that, don't they? Do you want to get straight back on again? 
because that's the plan. No. Okay. Well, it's not okay, but... Oh, somebody's on the ride here. Are you getting happier? I'm just click on you, Joseph Young. Are you getting happier? Yeah. Only slowly. It's not the same happiness hit as you get from going on this epic thing. But... Good. Well, there's almost something for everyone, I would argue. It's not getting many people in at the moment. The janitors are doing a very good job. You're absolutely right. And uh, the haulage people are doing a very good job as well because there is no reason for things to go out of stock at the moment. This is all very lovely, isn't it? You can sit and you can eat your whatever you've bought. Have we sold any of it? Oh, yes. Cotton candy's quite popular. Soft drinks, everybody thinks, are worth the money. I wonder if I could just... Perhaps squeeze an extra ten percent of your house if you there. That would be good. Oh, ice cream. Oh, they sold any ice cream. That's rubbish. I'm not paying that. There's always somebody, isn't there? Everybody else says, "Oh, this is really worth the money," and he's like, oh, "I'm not paying that much." Well, no. I know you can't please everybody, but that is quite annoying. So, how are we doing? Quite well. I'm sure I could be charging far more for everything, but at the moment... I seem to be doing alright. Should I add an extra dollar on the drop tower and just see? Because it is a super awesome ride. Did you just turn away from the drop tower? Nope. People still getting on it? Yep, no complaints yet. What is the maximum I could charge for the best ride in the whole world? That is the question. Sorry, sir, you can't bring your cotton candy on the drop tower. <laughs> Look, they're still not complaining. Let's shove it up again. I can make a huge amount of money off this. Is he going to get on? Yes! No! Okay, no, not going to get on. No. That's that's just pushing the envelope. How about seven dollars seven dollars fifty? Will you get on for seven dollars fifty? Oh you will. Oh you won't. Oh. No, there are still people getting on at seven dollars fifty, so I think we might be alright. Piling on. Piling on. Just one stupid idiot. Two stupid idiots. What's your problem? Ooh. I don't want to cost myself all my business if they're going to start complaining about the price. I'd rather they just got on it. Oh, they are getting on it, so... There's just one whingy idiot. Good. Okay, what I'm going to do then, I think, is change this so there's a slightly bigger waiting time and they won't have to run it as much. Because you always have to wait with drop towers, don't you? It's the... It's the uh, anticipation of it. God, they love it! This is the best ride ever! I don't know why you're ignoring the souvenirs, though. <laughs> Should have put the souvenirs over this side. Everybody's getting off and just walking straight past them. Oh, I thought excitement was high. Oh, no. Oh, well. Never mind. As long as they're getting on it, I don't mind. Meanwhile, mouse-wise... Want to go on something more intense? Of course you do. I 
question is, can I shop the price up? Four dollars. Four dollars for the mouse. Did you just go to a souvenir shop and not buy anything? Oh, you need a drink, that's why. Oh, she's gone to the bubble tea stall. Yay! And just like in The Sims. This is a brilliant idea. We will watch her thirst come down. If she drinks the stupid thing. Okay, people are still getting on Wild Mouse at $4. So I'm going to assume we're okay with that. It's just not very popular. But then there's only 132 people in the bar. Happiness is generally quite high, but I think that's probably because they're coming in already happy. <laughs> I made a profit last month. Yay! Excellent. Right, I need other rights that will allow me to charge an enormous amount of cash. Look, other people saying they're not paying that much for it again. Yeah, everybody else seems quite happy, so... There'll always be somebody, won't there? Meanwhile, Wipeout seems to be generally awesome. We do seem to be quite happy. I shall put the waiting time up again. And at the moment, you get four rounds because there aren't enough people to warrant taking you off any quicker than that. But I appreciate it might all be very nauseated by the end of it. Right, so, what do we want? And we want definitely want another ride of some description. Attempts to just line up 28 drop towers, to be honest. As they do seem to be quite popular. But instead, I shall have a wave swinger. Um, mm, I'll put it there. Be swinging out over into the street. I wonder if there's a way of putting this so it swings over stuff. I'll put it there. put it there in its own little wood. There we go. Don't know how much I can charge for that. I'll put it on two dollars for the time being. I'll also hire another mechanic because I am aware that I've got a lot of rides now. And Louise Lee is almost certainly not going to be able to keep things going on her own. Okay, wave swinger. Put the entrance here. And the exit um, the exit there. And then what I can do is put the key line, which is can't be a very horrible colour. here to there because then we'll have a path here and walk along there and you can get straight back on again testing Okay, so what do I want now? I want some TVs. With a ridiculously long queue line. <laughs> there we go. You can't get on it yet, sir. It's not open. I think I could put that up to three dollars, you know. We'll see. But what we'll do then is... Oh no, there's no room to put trees in. Oh, are you kidding me? Is there no room to put trees in? Can I put little trees in? Trapped. The whole idea was that it sort of went through a wood. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I won't let me put any in at all. Oh, sort of. Oh, that's frustrating. I thought it would let me put some trees in. that oh well silly me 
Maybe the... Uh, nope. put much in at all, is it? That's unbelievably annoying. Well, I'll put in what I can. No, okay. Um, can I put in some pot plants? I could put in some pot plants. Dead trees? Oh, but let me put some dead trees in. Oh, that's ridiculous. How about some of these normal trees? No, that's quite a big tree. <laughs> Sir, contain yourself. Those trees look like mushrooms anyway. Aha! Oops. I can put some of these mushroomy trees in. Oh, there we go. That's better. Let's turn around here. Somebody is thoroughly enjoying themselves. There we go. And now I can do what I was going to do, which is to call it. The treetops when you're instead. There we are. Great. Oh, people are getting on it already. Awesome. We'll have a higher time for waiting. And we'll see how popular it is. And we'll put some benches and bins and lamps and whatnot in. So that when you come off, you can sit down and have a drink. Or a burger. Or some popcorn. Oh, popcorn would be good. Oh, I can't put it there. How about there? There we go. Me and my super tourist traps. There we go. Okay. There's not much trash. The janitor's is doing a really good job keeping it clean. Good, 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 good. What about just spending money a lot? I can hear a fair amount of money being dropped on things. My wild mouse is really not doing that well, is it? I wonder why. I think people would want to go on that. Apparently not. Low excitement. How can that not be exciting? It's brilliant. I think they're queuing for it anyway. There's quite a lot of people queuing for it. <laughs> I wonder if I could put the price of that up just a little bit. Because everybody's saying it's awesome. Here we go. Give me your money. Nobody's complaining about the price at the moment. This is good. The drop tower might be responsible for all my profits. Timothy Rice? We've got a celebrity guest! Oh no, I'm not paying that much for launch drop tower is getting an increasing an increasingly popular thought. There we go, I'll put it down to seven. Because seven seemed to be the point at which people were prepared to pay for it. That's not good because the drop tower is like a license to print money. Get on. I've reduced the price. Get on, thank you. I'm sure I've put those shops in the wrong place, you know. 
Oh, they all seem to look this way. Why did you not buy a balloon? I'm not paying that much for a balloon. What, two dollars? Blue brilliant price for a balloon. God's sake. There we go, that's better. Lots of people getting on. Could probably wait for a full load on this. I made a profit last month! Again! Hurrah! It's not much of a profit, is it? But we are still in the green. Every time these people get on here, I get loads of money! Superb. Great. Right. It's 29 degrees. Do you want more drinks? What they probably want is more rides. I don't afford to pay for a little one. G-Lock. I don't know what that is. An observation tower. I need something intense and exciting. And none of these look intense or exciting. That just looks nauseating. I don't know what Gravitron is, perhaps we could have a Gravitron around the back of the staff room. Low, low and low? It better not be low, low and low. I'm going to be really annoyed if that is low, low and low. I've already got enough of those. Oh, I can't test it until I've put the entrance in, that's right. Um mm, not there. there we go. Testing Because it's the Gravitron, I will have a super hideous Q line. Oh, hang on a minute. That's not right. I don't want a pink queue line. Ah. Um, there we go. No, no, no. That way. That, that, that way. That way. Thank you. Put that up to two dollars. And this silly man, or woman, who has actually just tried to get straight on it, despite the fact that you blatantly can't. It's low, low, and low, guys. How annoying! Well, nobody's going to want to go on that, are they? Other than her. <laughs> straight away. I'm not impressed by that. Why is it all low, low, and low? I want better rides. Oh well, they're getting on it anyway. Something else for them to spend their money on. How are we doing on the old treetop swinger? We're quite happy by the looks of things. Sometimes if something's cheap, you might just go on it anyway. Or if it has no queue line. I don't know what that is. It's not one of those things where you, um, you go round and round and round and then sort of sticks you to the wall or something. There we go. Make that all yellow. At the moment, I don't really have any props worth putting in. Because I don't think that headstones and coffins are necessarily all that good. What did we think? We thought it was awesome. Good. Some souvenir trappings. Keep doing that, sorry, keep pressing the wrong buttons. 
Do you want, would you want an ice cream after coming off to Abitron? Ice cream sort of matches. There we go. How are we all feeling? Our experiences are really not very good, are they? How do I get you a better experience? That's the question. By not putting rubbish in like that. I'll make your experience slightly better by giving you TV to watch. Right, haulage people, are we dealing? Yes, we are. This is uh, this is Sylvia Tipton, who looks like a bloke who is delivering tea to bubble tea. Let's have a look at some of our staff things. It's all delivering resources, and ice cream is waiting for an available worker. But David Wilcox is on it. strange because Gravitron looked awful and yet everybody's saying it's awesome and getting on it and paying money. How weird. Let's start extending things. Look at it, it's really popular. How strange. Oh well, I'm not complaining. I might be putting the price up. Could you deal with $2.50 for that? <laughs> Why he's walking? Are you desperate for the toilet? Oh, you actually are. Right. Okay. Everybody seems quite happy to pay for Gravitron. Weird. Okay, fine. Not complaining. If that turns out to be my most popular ride, I'm going to be a bit knocked. <laughs> There's so much better, so much better things to go on. Oh dear, carousel. No wonder nobody's on it. They're all whinging. Right, I'll put the price down then. Though why you would not want to... But Sir, do you have a pumpkin for a head? actually does. We don't even have a ghost train. Right, you can all get back on the carousel now. I've reduced the price. Please get back on the carousel. <laughs> you need the toilet as well, don't you? Do we have a toilet issue? Why are you going on a ride if you need the toilet? Ah, look. Everybody's starting to get on it now. Oh dear, I didn't realise that. I didn't know that uh, nobody was getting on it because... It was too expensive. We can sort that out. I can't help you with the intensity. It's just not very intense, but... That's better. Right, got a bit of a queue there. I'm a bit concerned about my roller coaster -y thing. And nobody seems to want to go on it. Everybody's saying it's awesome, but nobody's getting on it. Urgh. Experiences does seem to be a bit of an issue, doesn't it? I think it's probably because one, two, three, four of my rides just go round in circles. We need something else. We need a log flume. A really, really intense log flume. That's what we want. Put it over, over here. The only problem is it's going to cost me a fortune. Mm. Would I rather just build up a bit of cash first? Because it is going to cost me a lot of money to build one. Put the double ferris wheel in and see if that's intense enough for people. Because it doesn't look very intense to me. It looks a bit rubbish. Could have a double double ferris wheel. Just have loads and loads and loads of ferris wheels all in a, in a row. Um, people go on observation towers? What if you could observe? If I have the observation tower next to this, <gasps> and you could actually observe people going up the drop tower thing. 
and see the looks on their faces as they scream in terror. Don't know what transformer is. That's the problem, isn't it? Is you don't know what it is. If it turns out to be rubbish, you just wish you hadn't bothered. I know what a twister is, though. You can have a twister. I know what a twister is. Do you want it next to the carousel? Do you want it next to the Gravitron? Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking log flume here. Possibly even round the corner. Put Twister there. Exit to it. There, I think. I'll give you permission for a red path. There we go. We can't get on it yet, it's not open. You see, that looks quite good. It's going to be low, low, low. I'm going to get mad, mad, mad. <laughs> oh, right, okay. In that case, this is the little to no excitement zone. They're more exciting than that. I've been on them. <sighs> oh well, on you come. No or not? Are you whinging about it being rubbish? No, you've not even thought about it. Okay. Run to the twister! Run to it! Get on! Get on the twister! Thank you! My experiences aren't getting any better, are they? That's worrying. Hmm. I don't like that. Some more shops. What would you want? If you've been on a twister, what would you want afterwards? I think I'd probably want the toilet, so we'll uh, we'll put some toilets in there. Perhaps a vending machine? Maybe two vending machines. I reckon I could get away with shoving that up to two dollars. Surely people will pay good money for pop and chips. I'm really worried about the lack of popularity for this. Nobody seems to... oh dear. Selling stuff but too tired to work. How are you going to sell stuff if you're too tired? That's awful. Do I have to hire some shopkeepers as well? I will hire some more Horligy people. But what are we going to do about the very tired stuff man? That's awful. If he's too tired to work, why is he not going anywhere? Does he have to be replaced by a... a normal staff member? I don't know. I'm going to hire another janitor though. I don't know what you do about that. That's a bit worrying. Hire another entertainer as well. Is everybody else knackered as well? That'd be awful. Tired people selling stuff. Oh! I don't know whether that's my fault or... But that just hasn't been implemented in the game yet. We're selling ice creams? Only just. Are we using the toilet? Yes, of course we are. I've just realised I haven't named my park. Call it. Joyland, oh wait, hang on. 
that turned into a horror story. Um, going to call it Super Happy World. Not land, world. Super Happy World. There we go. I'll just quickly save. There we go. Oh, my workers are at least working. That's good. Excellent. Well, I seem to be—I seem to be doing all right. I can hear money rolling in. I spent some money on rides last month, if I remember rightly, and therefore didn't make any money. But now I seem to be making some money. This thing is just a license to print money, isn't it? It makes me want to put another one in, but I don't know whether that would work or not. If you have two, do people want to go on both of them, or do they just say, I've already been on that? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Right, line it up. Or do I want to... Queue line-wise. Do I want it to be symmetrical? I'm not sure. Right, what did I put this up to? Was it 18? 20? Was it 20? I think it might have been 20. And then I'll put the entrance round the back and the exit there. $7 again, of course. And then we'll put an exit there. And uh, we'll put a queue line in. Which goes down the side of here. Oh no! That queue line's too white. Down the side of here. And then... Make it twisty and turny. There we go, actually. I want it. No, I don't want that. I want that. There we go. Now, you only get two drops on the other one, so you only got two drops on this one as well. Wait for full load. High and high. Wonderful. Checking out. Actually, is that shorter? Bother. I think it is, you know. I think I've got that wrong. How can I tell? I'll have to close it. And, uh... 20, that's at 22. Okay. So this... Also needs to be at 22. That's better. Got it. That queue line's horrible, isn't it? Oh dear. It's a bit too twisty and turny, that one. Turn it to there. Oops, I've done the wrong thing again. Oops, no, don't do that. No, 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 there. That's it. Got it. Right. Open that one up. And open that one up. Now, is there a difference between the two of them? That's the question. This one is about sort of 50, 60, 25, and this one is 50, 60, 25. Good. So hopefully they'll get off that one and come straight onto this one. They might do. Some extra path in. And then just make it into a huge tourist trap. We could have some food. I've got food on this side, I suppose. 
Would you like some donuts though? Pretzels? Snow cones? Anything. Pretzels. Donuts. Hot drinks. Lovely. And I'm going to want the path to come down here at some point. And maybe we could have another gardeny thing. Uh, oh, no. Wrong thing. A small nature walk. We could have a small nature walk somewhere. Have a small nature walk through my log flume. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's put small nature walk in there. And then what I'll be able to do is build my log flume around the small nature walk. That definitely works for me. Right, what jobs we've got to do? Lots of delivering resources at the moment. Hot drinks takes a lot of resources. Coffee, tea, sugar, milk, cups. It's good to see you've all bought umbrellas. Now, is there anybody on this? I'm not paying that much for launch drop tower, despite the fact it's exactly identical to this one. Whoops, just clicked on somebody wrong there. Well, there's still people complaining, aren't there? Why are you complaining about the price of the launch drop tower when you liked it before? I'm so sorry. These people are having to sit in the rain waiting for it to go up. Or not. Put some more benches in and then people can sit down and drink their drinks and generally recover. <laughs> they can watch the rides go up as well because why wouldn't you? whether putting more benches in actually sells more stuff, but it might do. I note that my vending machines are now open. They are happy. They are very happy vending machines. 32 customers. What is it about vending machines then? Would people rather go to a vending machine? Because I could fill the place with vending machines. I've got no problem with that. Experiences is still very bad. And I think that the rain is keeping people off my drop towers. This is not good. I can make this the vending machine repair park. Would you like a burger? Sit in your nature walk and have a burger. Oh, that sounds amazing. forget when you go to a real theme park just exactly how many souvenir stands and food and drink places there are. They're everywhere. There are entire bits of the park which are just food. Nobody's getting on my rides because it's wet. I don't like this at all. You've got umbrellas? What's wrong with you? I like the way they're going to the park entrance and then deciding not to leave again. <laughs> You're happy? Stay! Stay in the park! You're loving it! What if we have a toilet problem? We might have, you know. Stop raining! Please stop raining. People are not going on my rides. Ooh. Lots of work is required. I'll have another hauler. Look at all this hauling that wants doing. The food. What we got? That looks like burger buns. Condiments. Soft drinks. I don't know what that is. It looks like... Is it corn? I think that's meat. That looks like salt or something. Sugar? Fruit and vegetables. 
Okay, which one of you is selling fruit and vegetables? We don't do that in a theme park. It must be the Chinese stall. Oh, yay! Hooray! The sun's come back out! The money is pouring in! You can all go back on the drop towers now, please. Looks like Doctor Doom's thingy, that, from Universal. Oh, look, we're going back on it. Yes, 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 that's what we want. We still wait for full oil, it is. That's all right, then. Go the other one. Waits a little bit longer. It's a shame you can't synchronise them. Although, when I went to Universal again, they weren't synchronising the Dragon Roller Coasters, which I thought was rubbish. And it turned out it was because somebody got hit in the face or something from the, with some stuff from the other carriage. And you just think, oh, for God's sake, really? That annoyed me. It would have been really cool if we'd gone up together. Oh, some actual litter. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Because the bin appears to be full. Isn't that interesting? I have never seen that before. Does that mean I need more bins? I'm going to have more bins anyway, I reckon. In the busy areas. Put one there. Put one opposite the toilets, because you know what people are like. And we'll put one there. I've never seen that before. Never seen litter. At all. Isn't it funny? Well, it's not funny, because uh, I don't like litter. We'll put some lights in. Although eventually they'll probably get knocked down because I'm bound to build on that. It would be nice if having lights in the park made it open at night at some point. That'd be great. Oh, all my haulage people are getting on with it now. I can hear money piling in, so I'm assuming we're all going on the drop towers again. I'm really surprised that there's litter. That should cause litter, shouldn't it? Splatting balloons should fall on somebody's head. Well, it's all just delivering resources. I'll pick up this janitor and put them there. There we go. Clean it up. You don't look very well, I have to say. <laughs> you look a bit grey. Just must have just had a moment there, a moment of litter. I wonder if you get moments of vandalism as well. Look at them queuing up for this now! Yay! <laughs> they love it. You can get straight back on it again, you know, if you love it that much. Or you could just wander over to the other one. Yes! Man in the hat, that works. Marcos Hughes. Apparently toilets is disgusting. What's going on? Do I need another janitor? I'll put one in anyway because you can't really go wrong. How are we feeling about Twister? It's not remotely exciting. I'm not paying that much for Twister. How dare you. Gravitron was awesome though, apparently. I try and shove the price of Gravitron up as everybody seems to love it. <laughs> yep, they're still getting on. How are my ice creams doing? Not very well at all. Nobody wants an ice cream when they come off Gravitron then. Do they want a souvenir instead? I shall demolish the ice cream and put in a souvenir stall. There we go. Always raise the price of the sunglasses. I'm sure I could get away with raising the price of everything, but uh, at the moment, it's a bit of a faff. I'm going to have to rename these, you know. 
That's Money Tower. That's Cash Tower. Because <laughs> if it wasn't for those, <laughs> we wouldn't be making any money. But I am making money. Good. Oh, did they go up together? Whee! Yay! Oh, look at that. Brilliant. I don't think they're even supposed to be synchronised. I'm not sure. I certainly didn't intend that. But, brilliant. Station one waits for... Over here. <laughs> the problem is the two separate rides, aren't they? Station one waits for... What would that be on, then? Perhaps the train? Roller coaster with two entrances? Treetop Swinger seems to be doing all right. But the mouse has just never taken off, has it? That's very disappointing. Wipeout's not doing particularly amazingly either. Carousel's got a bit of a queue now. I feel a bit mean taking away <laughs> rounds. The point in time back up. Both of my raptors are entertaining in the same queue. That's not helpful. Go over there. Souvenir shops aren't doing too badly. The money is definitely piling in from somewhere. The moral of this story is drop towers. All of them. Are we enjoying our burgers over here? Have you got a burger? Megan Barron. No, you have oh, something from the blinking vending machine. What is it about vending machines? Why do they love vending machines? Because they do. Might have to have some more vending machines if they're that popular. Um, they're blinking ugly though, I have to say. I'll put one there as I've got a little space. I'll put one here as I've got a little... But whoops. Oh, I think I just pointed that the wrong way around. <laughs> oh dear. Can't reach through the fence for the vending. Maybe you can. Maybe you're that desperate. There we go. They are ugly, though. Ugly. Ugly things. But if people are going to use them... Brilliant. Well, I think I'm doing quite well here. We've got 250 people now. We're sort of making a sort of profit. They really like vending machines. In fact, I need to go around putting the prices up of everything in the vending machines, don't I? Drop towers and vending machines. I might just do a whole park that is just drop towers and vending machines. I'll call it drop all the things. So that's what vending machines do. I'll just call this the giant vending machine. My haulers need to do more hauling. Delivering salt, delivering potatoes, delivering salt, delivering potatoes, delivering potatoes. Why do you need to deliver potatoes to a vending machine? Are they those cool Japanese vending machines where it actually makes the chips in front of you? That would be amazing. <laughs> No, seriously, though, that's weird. Why would it be salt and potatoes? Surely the vending machine doesn't make the crisps. That's a bit strange. Are we buying maps? Oh, and they're really worth the money in that case. Let's make them twice the price. People buying souvenirs on the way out? Maybe. That'll make them stop saying it's worth the money because <laughs> it really isn't oh look now they're going sort of inversely of each other ah, whichever way you do that is going to be cool you can't get a double drop tower wrong unless you drop people off it and then well they die and your park closes <laughs> mm. 
wonderful. Well, I'm raking it in now. Even if some of the rides I consider that should be far more popular are not. Which is really annoying. What are people saying? Experience is still a problem. Prices, actually, not great, but I wasn't aware that anybody was complaining about it. That's a bit frustrating. I thought I'd managed to keep prices down. Oh, one of my drop towers is broken. No! Nobody seems to be complaining about prices, so I don't know why they're complaining about prices. Oh, because they're, they're people. What am I saying? It's just because they're people. People who will not go on the wild mouse ride. You just turned away from the wild mouse ride. Why? Who knows? Right, the vending machine's open yet. Look at that! Straight to the vending machines! Eight customers immediately! And they are loving it! Oh, I don't understand! That Maybe that's why my staff member is so tired of working here. Come on, haulage people! We need to fill the vending machines! like that. There we go. How long is it going to be until my first customer? Apparently we've already had two customers. I doubt that. You're all fools. Look. Oh, I thought he was running to the vending machine there, but no, he's just confused. Are you running to the vending machine? No, you're just confused as well. I will. See, from there you get a view of all the vending machines, don't you? How weird. Oh well. If it's going to make me money, I can't complain about it. Bizarre as it is. But look, I made a profit last month again. Yay! Not much of a profit, admittedly, but then I did spend all my money on vending machines. So, um, so yeah, I think I'm doing incredibly well, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm really chuffed. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the general feel of it. Um, I'm aware that it's only version 1A, so there's lots of stuff missing in terms of the management side of things, I think. But it is pretty cool. The other thing I couldn't get working last night, because I'm, it might be because I'm a bit of an idiot, was the terraforming. Um, oh, it is because I'm an idiot. I've now got it working. Brilliant. That wasn't working last night, and I don't know why. <laughs> well, there you go. There we go. Have, uh, oh dear, have death lakes. That was a big death lake then. Oh, well, that's something at least. At least that is actually working, because as I say, that was very much not working for me last night. In anticipation of my log flume going in then, I could have my log flumes going over the nature and through the giant parks and over ponds and all sorts. Brilliant! Well, that's a plan. <laughs> I might even film it for you. Anyway, there is my park. That is my work. I've still got money. This month I seem to be doing very well indeed, although it always takes some other off you before the end of the month. I'm assuming it must be for staff costs or something. And from a happiness perspective, we seem to be doing all right. Excellent. Well, I really like this and I can tell I'm going to get totally addicted to it. So uh, come back and there may well be some more. I'll probably also be putting some extra episodes up on Patreon. If you do not know that I have a Patreon channel, now that I'm back in the country, I should be putting some stuff up on there for you. And thank you if you've already donated. Meanwhile, here is my super awesome park. Step away from the vending machines. Gameplay Jenny.